Welcome into this episode of Coach's Corner. Jordan Woodruff with you. Great to have you along. It's brought to you by Betcher, Davini, Engel, and Wicker today, and joined by swim coach Heather Harris. Great to have you along, and uh, we're in the midst of a season, so how are things going? Uh, really well. Uh, we finished our dual meet season. Uh, my boys were undefeated. They were 7-0. and uh, My girls only lost twice. They were 5-2. and um, we finished conference last Tuesday. My boys actually won conference, so they won the conference title for the boys, and then the girls came in second. Um, not like being outperformed, just like more people on Enid. Um, so kind of tough, tough second place there because we were really, really hoping to get that done on both sides. Um, well, I had 14 swimmers, no, 15 swimmers out of 22 that got all conference. Um, so that was exciting. It was really, really good end of the, end of the season. Yeah, and uh, when you uh, look at uh, now going forward, mm -hmm. <laughs> it gets busy, right? We got, uh, the, we got some state stuff we want to get handled, correct? Mm -hmm. We have regionals on Saturday, and that will determine who, who makes state, and then we have state on the 17th and 18th, and that's both going to be in Jinx. Yeah, all right, and uh, let's talk about the competition when it comes to state. I mean, when you start going to the regional, it's tough, especially 6A mm -hmm. uh, swimming. So uh, talk about how you think you can compete, and you've seen a bunch of these swimmers and teams already this year. Yeah, um, I think we, we will do well. Um, I know that some of our relays will, will definitely uh, win some things on both of the girls and the guy side. I think we'll have probably about six individual swimmers uh, come away with, with some wins individually, um, if not sweeping both of those events. I don't know how we'll fare as a team. I mean, we're hoping to get um, top three boys and girls this year, which I think that's that's a doable thing. Um, we just don't have the numbers like like Jenks and right. Bartlesville. That's who it's going to be. It's going to be us three. And then Stillwater. Yeah, Stillwater how, how hard is it? going in and knowing your ceiling just because you don't have the numbers. I mean, you know, it's it, that's what makes it, I feel like, tough with 6A swimming sometimes is there's a lot of schools that don't have the numbers as those others, and they get kind of an advantage because they're able to fill that team out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it, it makes it definitely difficult. Um, you know, if one person goes down, we don't have a lot to choose from. Um, you know, we have three – Three on both sides, three girls, three boys, who are extremely talented. Some of the, I mean, honestly, some of the best in the state of Oklahoma um, that can hold their own with, with anybody in the state. But, you know, then we have, uh, we're, we are missing a fourth spot, and we're just trying to get kids to swim so there's not, like, this this massive def deficit um, in our relay. So it makes it difficult, but uh, they rise to the occasion. So Yeah. Um, as far as the regional is concerned, that's how you get qualified for state. So what teams and what individuals are you looking to get qualified? So um, I know that we have three girls who I have, have no doubt in my mind they'll they'll make it. Um, Jesslyn Carpenter and the tour I am, Hunter Breath, she has a good chance of winning both of those at regionals. Um, also, at, I mean, at state as well. Uh, Sarah Dingus, we were talking yesterday, she, uh, she has four events that she could She's the top three in these four events in the state, so it's a it's a tough problem to have. But um, she's hunter fly, hunter back. She I I feel like she will hunter fly will be tough. She's going against the reigning state champion, but um, I I think she'll give her a run for her money. And um, hunter back, I don't foresee anybody in our region that will beat her in that. Boys side, Braden Stewart, hunter free, hunter breast. Um, I think a top three finish there. Kyle King, two hundred I am. Uh, Hunter Free, uh, hopefully he wins one of those. I think he's got a good chance of, of winning one of those. And then Tim in the 50 free and the Hunter Fly. Um, I don't foresee anyone beating Tim. He he won those last year, so I would expect some good things from him as well. And then um, that's who I know that for sure right now <laughs> will make it. I think Riley Ladner has a shot. I think McKinney Coleman has a shot. I think Priscilla Art has a shot. Um, so that's kind of where we're at. 
when you uh, look, what's the ceiling at the regional? Like you, you mentioned that it's going to be tough to win because the numbers, but uh, what's going to be a rewarding and positive day finishing as a team in the regional? Yeah, I think, I mean, I think finishing a top top three, I think it's we're capable of doing that. Um, you know, and, and if, if everything goes right, if people really step up, I mean, like, we could be in it with, with Bartlesville and Jenks as well. I mean, if the relays go our way, those are double points, you know, which, I mean, we, you know, anybody has a shot at winning those, you know. It's just, like we've talked about last time, it's like everything has to come together at the right time, and, and they're ready, they're excited, and, I mean, anything can happen, but, I, I mean, top three for sure. Yeah, all right, uh, and then that leads, of course, to state. When you add another region, all yes. of a sudden, yeah. uh, you did have a gold medalist at mm-hmm. state last year, and uh, you had a very suc- very successful uh, time down at state, considering the most success Bonk has had in a very long time, maybe since back when you were swimming. Looking to build on that this year, right? Yes, for sure. Um, this year, like I said, just everything has, has gone the way that we've planned it to go. Um, I just think... They, they are so ready to swim. It's probably the best feeling I've had going into a state. Um, I think they're going to do a lot of incredible things. I think we're going to have more than just one state champion and, and some events on both the boys and the girls' side. Um, and, you know, at the end of the day, it's up to them to get it done. Uh, but they train very hard, and they are very focused on, on doing that. And that's been, you know, one thing that we have preached since August is, you know, it, this is the best we want. This is your legacy that you're leaving, you know, when, you, when you're done with this season. And so that's, it's exciting. You know, we've seen the build since you've been here of this program. Why, why has it been able to have so much success and why has it been a steady build up to really this point where it possibly could have be one of the best swimming years ever for Ponca City? Yeah. Um, I think the success comes from like, they have bought into my program. They have bought into what we're doing and, and, and they know what they need to do to be successful. Um, they know that what my expectations are when they come into practice, that we are focused and, and we are working hard and, and it is quality over quantity. And I think knowing that I was a former Wildcat swimmer and, and, you know, with my family as well, like being you know my dad was the head coach before I was and I think that that just like that resonates with people and also like you know they train they most of them train year round yeah. and and that puts them a leg above above a lot of other high schoolers and they know what they need to do to be successful and and they, yeah, I mean, just buying in and, and knowing they can you know sports in high school have become a 24 7 365 thing um you see it, but there's athleticism uh, involved in everything. But, like, we think about basketball, football, baseball, people playing year-round with that, wrestling. But some of these sports that are very finite, as far as, like, a tenth of a second can be the difference in getting a scholarship or not. Mm-hmm. It's uh, the year-round, it, it may be more important in some of these sports than the others we think about, right? Because mm-hmm. Because you're constantly improving yourself, and we're not talking about you know, hitting a shot and uh, upping your percent. We're talking about, you know, a tenth of a second's the difference in winning a state championship and where you're going to school. Right. Um, yeah, we went to a meet down in uh, in Texas with the club swimmers and Maddie swam. Uh, she made it into the 50 free shootout, which it's a professional and amateur meet. So there were some professionals there. She out touched a professional by one one hundredth of a second. I mean, that's the closest you can win a race. And so, yeah, every little thing counts. And like, if they're out of the water for a day, and I tell them this all the time, and people think, no, that's not true. Like, it feels like when you swim, and you swim at the intensity that we do, you're out of the water for a day, it feels like you're out for three days. If you're out for three days, it feels like a week, yeah. you know? And, like, so that just adds up and adds up, and they know they don't want to go back to that feeling of of retraining and, and re-getting back into it because it's not fun. It's not a fun process, you know? I mean, it's difficult to get 
back in a swim shape. Yeah, it's never been there. So. Right. <laughs> right. I mean, so I, when I go swimming, I'm you know, it's uh, it's yeah. different the leisure side of it, but yes. uh, yeah. at the same time, I never feel like I'm in shape. I, I feel like I'm out of shape after I get in. <laughs> right. Swimming. Right. So, right. Yeah. Uh, anything else you want to add? But best of luck on regional. Best of luck at state going forward, and looking forward to seeing what this uh, these boys and girls can do. Yeah, I'm just you know I'm super impressed with what they've done uh, this season. Uh, I'm incredibly proud of them. And, you know, we have we have two more meets to really handle, and and I just think they're going to get it done. And, and it's a really exciting time, and I'm hoping they bring back some good things. It's nerve-wracking, but it's also when you get to the regional, this is the fun time of year because mm-hmm. you are swimming for that gold medal. That's right. That's right. And I tell them all the time, like, you've already put in the work. You know, right now we're just, like, tapering down and, and focusing on the technique and and all the little things for everything to come together. So that one one hundredth of a second. That one one hundredth, yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they can make a big difference. Yeah. All right, well, Coach, appreciate your time. Thank you, Coach Heather Harris. Today's episode has been brought to you by Betcher, Davini, Engel, and Wicker. That'll do it. Jordan Woodruff saying so long until next time for Coach's Corner, and until then, go Cats. <laughs>